Hi, this is Melissa Phillips, and today I'm here to show you three different ways of using Grow Grain Ribbon to make leaves for your flowers. Um, fun little embellishment to use in your card making. The first leaf we're going to make is the pointed end leaf, and what you need is a two and a half inch strip of Grow Grain Ribbon. I've used Simply Chartreuse for our projects here today. Go ahead and fold that strip of ribbon away from you. Clip one end away from you so it forms a double point. And then just repeat that step with the next end of your ribbon. Fold it away from you, clip it away from you, and you have double points. Then apply a little glue to the seam and fold that strip of ribbon in half. Press down for a minute to secure it and tuck it behind some felt flower petals or paper flower petals, anything you want, and you have your first double pointed leaf. Okay, the next flower leaf tutorial we're going to see is um, the loop leaf tutorial. And you need two two and a half inch strips of grow green ribbon. I'm sure you all know how to make these, but I'll just show you how I make them. Just arch that little strip of ribbon, match up your ends, and apply a little glue. And press down for a minute. Um, if you want to trim the bottoms, the ends of these leaves, that's fine, but they're going to be tucked behind a flower and you'll never see them. So. Save yourself a step. Okay, take your second strip of ribbon, arch it, and match up your ends. Apply a little glue. And press down for a minute. I like to use Beacon Fabri-Tac. Uh, it's my favorite go-to glue for heavy embellishments, paper, felt, ribbon. It works for just about anything. And one thing about these loop leaves, um, I like to turn them upside down to give them a different look. Maybe a little bit more of a dimensional look, so think about doing that too. You can use those in two different ways. And then for our final leaf, you'll need two five inch strips of grow grain. And this is the knotted leaf that we're going to make now. All you do is tie a knot in the center of that strip of grow grain. Tug and move that knot around so it's in the center of your strip. Then once again, arch it. Match up your ends. And secure those with glue. and then tuck that behind your flower. Do the same thing with your second strip of grow grain. Tug to make that center knot quite tight so that you get a shapely little leaf, otherwise it's just kind of a, a fat, shapely, unshapely leaf. Go ahead and arch that. Match up your ends and apply your glue. and tuck behind your flower. And there you've got your knotted leaf flower. Leaf, which I, which I love, it's one of my favorites. I hope that you learned a little something new today and thank you so much for watching.